Okay, this is my EV3 racer. You won't find any plans anywhere on the internet right now with an EV3 that can go as fast as this this one here. You'll see that I use the large wheels to help get the speed. And um, we've also got you can see more clearly here these three these three gears. You got this this biggest one off is the drive gear. It's off of the motor, and we got this intermediate one. Two functions here. We're we're gearing it up for speed. Plus we're using this to uh, so we have three gears. So the direction stays the same. Front is front and backwards is backwards. Then we have this tiny little gear on the on the drive for the for the wheel. Then with a huge wheel with a large circumference, this thing is really fast. It's about as big as gear that you can put on it and still get these things to move. You can program these or as we did, we put the remote control to them. My inexpensive $10 remote control and get these things to fly up and down the hallways and spin around. Uh, you'll see across the top here is some support mechanism, top and bottom. This puts a heck of a lot of stress on the wheels and everything tends to come apart between the motor and this piece here that goes across and, and, and holds this mechanism here. We build these separately first. We put these together with the three axles in it and then I use these little three three hole beams with a couple pins in it to hold it for spacing there. This is what really makes this gearing secure. It doesn't strip, it doesn't slip. This is the way you have to put gears in there if you're going to put a lot of stress on it. And it puts so much that these things come apart. So you'll see some of the things I put in here to keep the pieces from falling apart. This is the piece here that stops the bottom the top from coming apart from the bottom because I've gone in sideways. It adds a lot of strength to hold those together. The same thing back back here, I had to sort of come up with kind of a funny one, but this one actually all it does is it comes over and it, it goes down in between and I've got a pin that goes through here that holds this one firmly against here with all the stress. So we've done the same thing on both sides. And then I just use a real simple wheel for the back. Uh, this thing, as I say, this thing flies. I use it with remote control, my $10 remote control and the RL software. And it's, uh, it's hard to control turn-wise because it, it goes so fast and it turns so quickly. But it's a lot of fun to run up and down the driveway. And it really does fly. It really goes. I haven't measured miles per hour, but it's pretty fast. Um, if you want to build these, eventually I may put plans on my website but right now I'll just use this uh, video to help you build it that's it thanks